What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, we actually have a very fun one. We're going to see if Rack Instruments performs better than regular instrument tracks. And we're going to go ahead and track the CPU and performance of both of these. So let's get right to it. So if you're a film composer, you know that sample libraries is very, very heavy and intensive on CPU performance and RAM. So you need to make sure you have a very good computer or a beefed up computer with processing power and RAM. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is rack instruments versus regular instrument tracks. Now, if you're not sure what rack instruments are, I'm going to go ahead and link now on the top right corner of this video rack instruments so you can check out how to set it up and how to get it rolling. So here I have a very simple melody and chords. I have the violins playing the melody and everyone else holding out the notes in a chord. There's no MIDI expression or modulation so this is as flat as possible. We're here just to check out some baseline numbers to see which one of the two performs better. Is it worth it using rack instruments or is it worth it just putting everything on an individual track? So here I have Cubase's audio performance meter down here on the bottom of this bass track. And then I have the computer's actual CPU performance of Cubase opened up as well. Now keep in mind, I am screen recording right now. So you're gonna see that as I'm screen recording, the actual CPU meter might shoot up more than what it's supposed to simply because I'm screen recording. But keeping that in mind, we're gonna see which one performs better overall. So without further ado, let's get into the first example. We're gonna first try out the instrument track and we're gonna keep in mind of both meters. This is the meter here for the CPU performance inside of my computer. And then here is the average maximum performance inside of Cubase. Let's get right to it. Okay, so that was the instrument track. It shot up to 180% of CPU usage. And this one was, we had a couple peaks over the second line here. That's a pretty big jump. Of course, I'm screen recording right now, so the numbers would generally be lower, but still it's pretty high up there. Let's go ahead and check out rack instruments. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of solo and solo the rack instruments. So what I'm doing here is now, instead of having six different instances of contact running each instrument with rack instruments, I'm using one single plugin of contact. So if I open it up, one single plugin of contact and I have all of my instruments in here. So let's see if rack instruments outperforms instrument tracks. Here we go. Okay, so as you noticed, the rack instruments could not keep up and the sound was even coming in and out because it wasn't enough processing power to be able to handle rack instruments. So the reason behind that has to do with instrument track and rack instruments pull the RAM or the, the computer resources in a different way. Instrument tracks use what we call multi-threading. So in CPU and memory performance, we have eight cores that we're working with right now. And what it's doing is it's evenly distributing the, the workload of these instruments into the eight cores called multi-threading. Rack instruments use a processing power called single threading. So what it does is that it uses only out of the eight that I have on my computer, it's only gonna use one core to be able to power this instance of rack instruments. 
So essentially, you're better off using instrument tracks because it's going to spread it all over the resources of the computer. Realize how I want you to put your attention to my Wi-Fi here. I turned off Wi-Fi and I closed all of my applications except the console app because that's what I'm using to run my UAD stuff and my um, audio so I can hear playback. But other than that, that's the only two things that are running. And of course, I have my screen record right now. Generally, when I don't have my screen record on, my rack instruments does not crack or clip. So this is primarily due to the fact that I'm screen recording at the same time. So screen recording uses single threading as well. And since I'm using a single thread with rack instruments, they were clashing with each other. So that's why my computer kind of gave out at that point. So what you could take away from this video is rack instruments should be used a little bit more delicately than regular instrument tracks. Rack instruments, remember, use one core. And if you have multiple things happening in your computer at the same time, it's most likely not gonna perform well. Because if you have your web browser open, well, web browsing uses only one core. If you use, let's say you're working on spreadsheets or Microsoft Word, something like that, it's gonna use one core. Rack instruments just use one core. So using rack instruments definitely has its benefits, but it also has its cons. So you really gotta see what it is that you need in your project in order to use rack instruments over instrument tracks. Me personally, I always use instrument tracks. I, I don't typically use rack instruments or multi timbral instruments. I like seeing everything laid out in its own track. So I definitely prefer the instrument track. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and leave your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it, so go and check that out. Also, I'm gonna leave my Patreon link down in the description with a little as a dollar a month. You can help support the channel as these videos do take time and effort to make. I would greatly appreciate the support. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.